Yeah, I think it's clear that the implications of Brexit are profound in many different spheres. Uh, one in which I think it's clear in the events of the past just week and a half um, is seen in British politics. And it can obviously have an impact in politics across Europe. I think there's lots of people who feared that the right could be strengthened post the Leave vote, when in actual fact what's happened is that the right is in disarray. Uh, Cameron is gone. Johnson is gone. Farage is now gone. And of course, on the left, Corbyn remains. The key question now is the attempted coup by the Blairites against uh, Jeremy Corbyn in order to uh, remove him and to put a Blairite back in charge of the Labour Party. There's a battle of two parties in one inside the Labour Party, that of the pro-war neoliberal Blairites and that of the socialist of Jeremy Corbyn and, for example, many of the 60,000 who have joined the Labour Party over the past uh, week. Uh, that battle inside the Labour Party is vital. Uh, I'd like to send the solidarity of the Anti-Austerity Alliance to Jeremy Corbyn to hope that he and those coming around the Labour Party prevail in that battle and that they have a Labour Party worthy of the name, unlike the Labour Party in this country, uh, to call a conference of the Labour Movement, a broad Labour Movement, to defend his leadership and to therefore have a socialist-led Labour Party uh, engaging in a general election campaign, uh, fighting for a uh, government which can be won in Britain, and that will create a completely different picture in terms of the nature of exit that takes place, but also in terms of the debate right across Europe, uh, putting into, onto the agenda the question of fighting for a Europe that serves the interests of people, a socialist Europe, as opposed to a neoliberal, militarised Europe that was rejected. Thank you very much, Deputy Martin.